my career started? <clears throat> I want to say it started with definitely with dancing. Dancing was um, always a part of my life. I was very young. I think I was five and I started to dance Portuguese folklore. Nothing fun, but my, my, my parents insisted of me doing it. These days I thank them because it was my first introduction to dance. I did that for probably 10 years um, until I found out what hip hop music is. Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, video clips, MTV, like all of that in the early, late 80s, early 90s. Um, I started to learn how to freestyle and just get the rhythm of blood, try to do a little bit of choreography. That then I got discovered, discovered, I've got asked in a club if I could imagine making money with dancing as a go-go dancer. Of course I did, so I was like, yeah, let's do that. I danced as a go-go. There I've got asked by an agent if I want to dance in a video clip, just freestyle. I say yes, I go, I do the job, it's my first video, I laugh at it today, but um, the agent signed me to this agency, and from that moment on, it just went, everything went so fast, I, I, I got choreography jobs, I learned choreography, I found out that it's so much easy to me, and then I booked big gigs, small gigs, and I was a working dancer. I was a working dancer in the industry. Dan, I wanted to work international. So, in Germany, there's only so much you can do. So I moved to London. Um, I, I gave it a go. The minute I arrived there, I go to an agency. The agency signs me because she sees that I haven't done many names, but I did a lot of work in Germany. So they trusted me. They signed me and sent me out to a audition, a world tour for a known artist called Kylie Minogue. I go to the audition, it's an open call, 600 dancers. I have no idea how, but everyone knows I booked the job. I started to work for, for Kylie. Five years, four world tours, living the dream, blessed, amazing. But then I was like, okay, you are on tour with Kylie Minogue, how can you brand yourself how can you make yourself even bigger and be known because the tour will be over and i want to make sure that people know me so i contacted attitude magazine in uk it's a big high glossy magazine and i told them listen i have pictures of myself which i did a photo shoot um i'm a dancer for kylie minogue can we collaborate you know i'll give you the name and you put my face in the magazine. They said, that sounds interesting because Kylie is really big in the UK. What happened was, I ended up being on the cover of the magazine with a five page spread inside. I don't know how. Little do you know, other magazines call me, they want spreads, they want covers. All of a sudden, I'm a model. But I'm a model for myself. I wasn't modeling for brands. I became Marco Da Silva, the hot, tattooed Kylie dancer and all of a sudden I had a brand um, model dancer achieved then it was not for three years ago that I was thinking all right you achieved so much in your life you did so much you you've been called a dancer you've been called a model but what are you gonna do afterwards after dancing what job could telephone and I'm back sorry but the phone um, all right, where were we? Gotcha. So, I was thinking like, which as what job could I do that have the same aspects of dance and modeling? You know, that, that, that make me work with music, and that I can be creative, I can be my own boss, I travel, I work with people. And then I remember myself being a little kid and always thinking DJing is really cool. So I looked into that, bought myself and I'm very much like that. When I have a project, I go full out. Bought myself a high professional DJ case, locked myself up for six months, and trained really hard. And found out that it's actually really easy to me because I understand what music is about. I know what feels good on the dance floor. And I understand the terms of music. So technically, I was like, wow, this is actually, this is it. This is what I wanna do. 
I'm getting really, I'm getting chills when I play. So three years later, I call myself a DJ. I play all over the world and I don't know. I mean, all I can say is it's, it's, you gotta do what you love and then everything is fine. Okay, the question was, who inspires, who inspired me to become who I am today? It could be misunderstood, it could be read wrong, but I inspire myself. Um, I'm inspired by my strength that I had as a kid. I'm inspired by many ugly situations that I fought. I'm inspired by who I am today, towards who I was. I unfortunately am, was a child that grew up himself, by himself. Um, so no one really was with me or helped me other than my sister, um, who I could say taught me a lot. But looking at looking back at life, I, I feel like I inspired myself because I feel like I went through different phases and to different personalities and every personality inspired the next one. And today I feel like I'm, very, I'm a very clean guy in my head, in my space. I love, I love the story of my dad. Um, my dad, I have a step, a stepsister and um, my dad tried to, you know, tried to have two separate lives without causing harm to anyone. And he had a deep, a dark secret that he kept for 30 years without making anyone know about it. But not because he wanted to hide it, it's because he, because he wanted to have peace for the family. So looking at that, that's a very, it's, it's, it's very inspiring to me because it, it's a lot of strength. It's a lot of strength to make other people feel good and himself feeling bad. Um, and this is how I live my life today. I always worry about others first, and then I worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll make sure that others are fine. Um, so yeah, maybe my dad and me, we inspire each other. How do I see myself in the future? Old, wrinkles, no. Um, honestly, let me be cliche. I really love who I am right now. I love what I do right now. I love the feeling that I have, the happiness in life that I have. I have everything I want. Now, of course, I can have more money. I can be richer, but it doesn't bring you happiness. It brings you comfort, but I am comfortable. So I have everything I want. Um, Career-wise, what is there more to have? I travel around the world. I, I, I don't know. It's I like who I am, and I'm really happy with who I am right now. So I want. I see myself in the future exactly the way I am right now. Just maybe. I don't know. Just maybe be happier when it comes to personal relationships when it comes to find the right partner maybe that is something that I really always think of I was like where who will join my side in 10 years who is this person where is he like I, I ask myself that a lot it's like there is a soulmate but where is he where does he live is he, is he is he just next door is he my neighbor is he that's something that that's really interests me the whole time but when it comes other to that careers and everything i'm a very very happy person um save the good for last so i want to share something with you i want to share um, my Bible, my personal Bible. 
Um, this book by Paulo Coelho is called The Warrior of Light, and um, it's an. This book is. Uh, it had like an enhancing impact on my life. I've. I don't really remember who gave me this book or why I got this book. But um, it's changed. It changed me, and it changed the way I think, and it made me a better person. And I would love to share just one little site, so you understand where I come from, and maybe you get inspired to get this book and and read the book. Right now, I'm feeling a little stupid. I feel like little Oprah with her book shop, and telling her and Oprah's favorite book of the month. It's not like that. Um, but I, I I really wanna I wanna share something with you. It's called the Warrior of Light. Now, the Warrior of Light is someone that is a fighter. The light, we know, it's it's your own perfectionism. So you are a warrior of the light. You search for your own perfection. Now it goes. A warrior of light shares his world with the people he loves. He tries to encourage them to do the things they would like to do but for which they lack to courage. At such times, the enemy appears holding two wooden signs in his hand. On one sign it's written, think about yourself. Keep all the blessings for yourself, otherwise you'll end up losing everything. On the other sign, he reads, who do you think you are? Helping other people. Can't you see your own faults? A warrior knows that he has faults. But he knows too that he cannot do his growing alone, distance from his companion. Therefore, he throws the two signs onto the floor. Even if he thinks they may contain a grain of truth, the signs crumble into dust and the warrior continues to encourage those nearest to him. Basically, it just says that you gotta, you gotta do what feels good to you. Don't listen to what others tell you what's right and what's wrong. And it's always right to help others. It's always right. It's never, no one can ever tell you it's wrong that you help someone because it's for a good cause. So be the warrior of light. Be the person who, who inspires someone. Be the person who, who is not afraid of no. Move on. If someone says no, you step on that no and you go further. And this is one page. And just this little page already taught me something. Now you imagine reading this whole book, what can it do for you? Because it did a lot for me. So, um, and with that, I say good night. <laughs>